Welcome back. So I've got the one and only Colt. What's up? <laughs> and me. So Hillbilly's in the other shop. He's working on a collision job, getting that all finished up. So we are getting started on the old Bronc Tur Star. I'm not allowed to call it the Bronc Turd because Hillbilly gets mad. So this is the Bronc Star, not the Bronc Turd. But I am working on the PSC steering today. So Hillbilly's got most of the front end all welded. I've got to do the tie rods, but most of all, I've got to do the orbital valve, the reservoir, run all the lines, hook the steering column up. Got a bunch of stuff. So once he gets done in the other shop, he's going to be coming in and he's going to be working on whiskers. So they've got that all masked up. As you guys saw in the previous video, they took care of that for me. Got a few things to do, some seam sealer, some epoxy primer, and then we're going to undercoat it and get that roof all sealed up so when we take whiskers out on the mountain we don't get leaked on that so anyway got a lot to do I'm gonna get started and i'm gonna take you guys with all right so first things first i want to get my orbital valve in and it is almost as if this was meant to go here so we've got this strut mount bar right here and the orbital valve bracket literally just hugs it perfect so what i'm going to do is i'll get it positioned where we're right in line with the column before I weld it, I want to get my column with my U-joint and I want to make it, I want to make all this jive together and we'll weld that in place. So after I get this welded, I've got to do a couple of things. I've got to, I've got to, oh, almost forgot. So I've got my cooler and I got my reservoir. So reservoir is going to go right in here. Reservoir is going to sit there and a mount in perfect. Cooler is gonna go right here. It's gonna mount in perfect. It's gonna be kind of tucked in. Now, you might wonder why we're putting it right in front of the radiator. We're gonna block the radiator. We know. We've already made the determination that after King of Hammers, Hillbilly's gonna relocate his radiator to the back because we can't get a fan on it. We can't do a lot. There's a lot of, actually, we might, we might be able to tuck this up here and remove this light bar. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That might be a good idea. Then we could put a fan on, maybe. Anyway, I'll probably eliminate this light bar. We'll put this up top. We'll get some hoses ran and get everything done. So by the end of this video, the old Bronx Star should be running and driving on its own. And then all we have to do before King of Hammers, which is next. Holy crap, we're leaving, we're leaving for Hammers today. Huh? So in real, in real world time, today is the 31st. We're on our way to King of Hammers today, but you won't see that for a little bit. But it's all done. Don't worry. The Bronx Tour Star is on its way to California. I'm just gonna get to work. I'm doing the light bar nuts. Look at that. We'll put the camera guy to, to work. And if I remember correctly, oops. If I remember correctly, we have to bend these to get it out because we welded it in. It was it was super tight made brackets, so we're gonna grab a bending device and get that out of there. A little bit more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, so we didn't design that very well. It's fine. Work. And Hillbilly hardwired this in, so now I've just gotta cut the wiring. Um, I don't know what switch he has this to. We'll let him go ahead and figure that out. So this is the ground. We'll just be able to wire that one back up. And then we'll tape that. We got that out of the way. Now the reason we did that is we're gonna put this. Oh no, this cooler has to ah, screwed up again. Cooler has to be lower than the than the reservoir. Well, we didn't need to take that light off, but you know what? We run Baja lights anyway, so who cares about that? Now this proper vertical cooler hose routing cooler. Cooler should always be mounted below the reservoir. So if we have the cooler, yeah. So if we're gonna do that, that'll work. That'll be below. So we'll go right, basically right above the winch. Maybe if we bring it out here, we can still put a fan in. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll make some brackets off each side of the bars. We'll mount that. It'll be below the reservoir and I think it'll work. Okay, now I've got it figured out. Light bar, eliminated. Reservoir ready, cooler ready. Orbital valve, ready. All right, so that's 
where I want the orbital valve, it's shooting straight, shooting straight at my column. So I'll be able to build that adapter. I'm gonna put another couple tacks so it doesn't move. All right, what we'll do now, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. You done in there? No, I'm not yet. Oh, so Hillbilly's not quite done in the shop. He'll be done here shortly and then we'll get, actually it's getting close to the end of the day, so I doubt he'll work on, bom... oh my gosh, it was called Whiskers Bombi. I don't think he'll work on Whiskers today, it'll probably be tomorrow, but he'll be in here in just a minute. All right, so we're building our first hose. So I've cut it to length and this is kind of cool. PSC sends hoses that don't have to be crimped. They get screwed inside, so. If it doesn't work, we'll go get crimped hoses made, but I think it'll work. They sell a lot of them, I think. All right, we'll get this tightened up. Now, I'm not totally sure how I'm gonna clock this. We'll go see where it lands and see what needs to happen in order to do that. There's like barely enough room to get that hose in, which barely is, barely is enough. I think I got lucky. Huh. No way. It worked. I made this a little bit, a little bit big. This line will go over it. So that's our first line. It's right where we need it. Now I've got to work on other lines. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to use the hoses that came with this. I might. Whoa, Hillbilly has himself quite the lower radiator hose going on there. I'm just trying to get lengths of hose now. So I've made a decision. I'm gonna go have some lines made. I'm not gonna use this line because I wanna make it longer. All right, so we're gonna get some measurements and then we'll go to Hermanson's equipment and have some lines made. All right, so we've got our two measurements. We need 68 and a quarter and 80 and a half inches long. So two different hoses. We're gonna take our fittings, go make sure we get the right stuff. So let's head over to Hermanson's, come with us. All right, I got me some hoses. Hermanson's built them up for us. So we're gonna head back to the shop and get them put on. All right, so we've got a short one and a long one. Short one goes to the front, long one goes to the other side. So we went over to Hermanson's, got these all built. I don't like the thought of just dropping the hoses. So what we did is we calculated it out, me and Colton, and we went and had new hoses built so that we can run these up the, up the control arms and loop them up out of the way. So right here, I'm gonna get this put in place, and then I'll show you. I even did it to where you can see the stripe of the hose. I'm a weirdo, I know. So this will end up being like this, and then they'll travel right here, because our upper our upper link is gonna end up on top of this pumpkin, headed out on a 20 degree angle, or it's gonna be here. So either way, we're gonna have this line follow that upper link, because we have this upper link in the wrong spot, so it's coming off. So these, we're gonna travel somewhere like that. Boom to boom. And how did I clock that one wrong? All right, I'm gonna have to hurry and figure these out real quick. And then I'll show you. I was almost perfect, but not quite. So we've got one hose that's clocked correctly. I tried to clock them at the tractor store. Thought I clocked them correctly. I've got one. This is what's so nice about mobile hose making. So you can see that one's just a little bit too long and I've got it clocked wrong. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut this end off, put it on, get my length correct and clock it and mark it. And tomorrow morning, um, we'll head back over to Hermanson's and we'll get another end crimped on it. But look at that, close. We're just like, what, 90 degrees off? But the problem with this is, so if I force this, Look at what it does to that hose. It completely twists it. So that's that's what happens if I try to use that hose. Now, could that work? Yeah, but I would hate it. So I don't like that. So if we had the mobile hose makers here, they would have been able to fit it, clock it, do all the fun stuff like that. But instead, we're doing it trial by error. So. As you can see, once we get the upper link on, this will be able to travel up that link, follow it. It'll wrap up out of the way, out of the tires. It's no big deal. 
Now what we got to do, basically we'll install this and this is where it's going to be. So with no pressure on it, that hose needs to be cut off. Zip tie it like, just like that? No, nope, I'm going to... I'm going to cut it so that we know where it oh, needs to yeah. be. And then what I'm going to do is take a paint marker and we'll we'll mark the hose and the fitting so we can go transfer it to the new fitting and that will be clocked perfectionly. Perfect. So we'll cut this off, then we will get a clock mark. All right, now let's mark this and then we're going to be done for that because we just got a wreck that we've got to go on. So will be taken off. So I'm gonna mark it right there. So that should show us where it goes. We'll be directly on that line right there. So we'll get that done tomorrow. We'll take it off. We'll head over to Hermanson's, get that recrimped, and those two lines will be done. But that's all we gotta do tonight because we gotta go on a wreck. So it is tomorrow. All right, it is the next day. So I'm gonna get this hose off. I've gotta run over to Hermanson's and get an end put on it correctly. The, I showed you guys yesterday, so 30 seconds ago, but it was clocked wrong. So I'll go get that. Hillbilly is in here today. He's gonna do a few odds and ends, but he's mostly gonna be working on the roof of whiskers. So he'll keep doing that. I'll keep doing this. When I get back, I'll get these hoses routed. We'll get the steering shaft built and get everything hopefully wrapped up. So we gotta make this thing steer on its own. Welcome back, Hillbilly. So, my Robbie's getting the hose done. I uh, went to get the hose reclocked. He told me to hurt, uh, tack on two studs to the bar to hold the breather up. Uh oh, is it supposed to move? You already broke it. It was like that, not me. Okay, I got it tacked. I'm gonna tack it a little bit more in a couple spots just so that way. It doesn't try tweaking and not be able to get them on there. Okay, got the breather studs welded. I don't have it tight yet, just so if we have to pull it off, we can. That's where it's gonna be. So now I'm gonna climb up on whiskers and seam still it. I better go get some wax and grease remover first and wax and grease remover seam, sell it, spread it, and go move to the next one. So we will get some wax and grease remover and then we'll get back to doing that. Okay, so I'm just gonna mask off the seams so that way it's just a cleaner. When we put the bare metal seam sealer on there, it just looks cleaner. Cleaner's always better. We're gonna go up, wax and grease remove one seam, seam seal it, move to the next one, seam seal it, or wax and grease remove it, then seam seal it, then move to the next one, wax and grease remove it, then seam seal it. So I'll sh we'll just show you the first Long, uh, seam and then I'll have Colton go and do wax and grease these edges seams while I'm up top doing these. Oh, better pump it up. Pump, 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 pump it up. Pump, pump up the jam. Okay, so I'm gonna get the front seam really good because when we done the water, or when they done the water test, this front seam is where it was leaking the most. So I'll get this seam first, get it really good. Gotta get it kind of thick because there's a wide, deep gap. Okay, we're gonna brush it. Bob Ross style. And then we'll just show you bits and pieces of me doing it. Okay, well, Hillbilly's up on the roof, scuffing away and painting away. I figured I'd grab the seam sealer and hit these edges right here. Now, brushing away. Got to keep it thick in there though. We want to basically use it as a feeler. Feeler. Okay, me and Colton got all the seam sealed. Uh, so now I'm going to go find some plastics because we have to get everything in here covered in plastic. Okay, I went over. I went back over to Hermanson's, got my hose crimped, and we're going to hurry and install it, make sure it fits. I just want to make sure that it follows the other hose. I like when my hoes follow each other. All righty, so coming down here. Boom, look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It fits. It's almost like, sort of, we knew what we were doing, but we didn't because we had to redo it. So, like we've already told you, 
I'm gonna put that upper mount here. This is gonna follow that link. I really need to figure out, I need to figure out that link. That's what I need to do, but that's not today's problem. That is gonna be before next Wednesday's problem, but today's problem, because we're leaving, so. Yeah, anyway, hoses are done. That's what truly matters here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting overwhelmed. So much little things to do. So little time where to start. Let's just do nothing. Like no. my next task at hand, I think I'm gonna mount. I'm gonna mount the the this. So I've got to center this, and then I got to build a bracket from there to there, and from there to there. So that's gonna be my next task. Is just building that bracket. Now I have a sheet of three sixteenths on the plasma table, so we're building all our bracketry out of out of three sixteenths because I don't want to go change the metal. So it's gonna be a little overkill, but that's fine. So I'm gonna build some cardboard brackets on both sides, make sure they work, and then we'll go to a plasma table and we'll cut them out, we'll weld them on, we'll mount that. Then we got to mount the thingy mabob that is missing. Where's right the here. mabob of the thing? Oh, there it is. What would I do without Colton? So then we gotta build a bracket here. We'll mount this mabobber. Once that mabobber is mounted, then I think that's all the mounting. Then we just have to do the steering shaft. Anyway, my ADHD brain is just flourishing right now. So I'm just gonna do it in a really backwards way and attempt to get it done. It'll actually, it'll get done because it's yours. Since it's not mine, I'll finish it. So this is one of my kids' toys. Check this out. A square. Yeah, <laughs> it was a square. It's probably Lincoln's, but we checked it and it is accurate. It's really in inches. So wish me luck. It's gonna be like three, three and seven eighths. Okay, I'm gonna dry out a bracket real quick. Okay, so while Robert, Robbie's making the brackets for everything, I'm going to get, remove these pipes, get the alignment perfectly straight. It won't be aligned, they'll just be straight from each other. Then we'll get the measurement of what we need, and then we can do the towing once we get all the stuff cut. And so that's what, why we need to get these perfectly straight so we know exactly how much needs to cut off this pipe so we have adjustment and they will be aligned when we're done. So we got the one side already bolted on for the uh, alignment from bleeping Jeep. Now I'm just gonna get this side put on. I'm just gonna kind of snug it. Now it's spaced. I'll remove the jump bungee cords. <clears throat> Drop the pipe. So explain what you're doing here on the. Now plants. I have to bring it and put a mark because I'm only bring uh bring it to where there's a half inch of thread showing on all of them, so that way they're all even. That's a half inch right there. That's where we want to stop, so that way we'll have in adjustment if we need to, and also have out adjustment. All right, so I am figuring out. I know this doesn't make sense, but this is that. That is in my brain, and this is how I translate it. So we're 4.78 inches from the outside of the 1.75 inch bar, so I had to put a 1.75 inch circle out to the first bolt hole, offset the bolt hole 1.5 inches. It's got a one and a quarter by two and a quarter inch plate. That's gonna be what the mount is, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, now I just have to connect the dots from here to here and from here to here. I gotta figure out how to transform this line. That's what I have to do. So if I take this and I just draw straight lines, that'll look really, really stupid. Will it work? I mean, probably, but that would look dumb. That wouldn't even be, that wouldn't even be a cool bracket. Nobody would like that bracket. So nobody would like that bracket either. So I'm gonna sit here and figure out my radius, how to get this to look cool. And then I'll show you the final product. And then we'll cut that and we'll fit it. And then we'll see if it fits on the other side and then we'll weld them. Got it, Hillbilly? What? That's what I thought. All right, so now that we've got this all centered up, I'm gonna measure my tie rod length. Eight and five sixteenths. This is gonna be 10 and an eight. One might ask their self, themselves why I would have different length tie rods, and I understand it's going to turn a little bit different. The center 
but the bracket is right here. We're about an inch and a half off. So this should have been slid over in front of the cover, but it's not. So we centered this and we're gonna make that a little bit shorter and that a little bit longer. And that's just the way it's gonna be. So we're gonna get these tie rods cut up. We'll get our chop saw set up. <laughs> we only have 10 inch. I'm gonna make this one up a little bit. So yeah, that one's perfect. <laughs> and this one will just chop off a little bit. So this one is gonna be eight and five sixteenths. It's not ideal, but it's just the way it's gonna be. So that's where we need to cut. So we're gonna zero this out. We'll bring in the G-code. G-code is, you know, nothing but a G thing. It's a G thing. Just kidding, it's not really what it is. I don't know why it's called G-code, but that's what it is. Technically the far side is the cut. Look at this. It's the exact same. Check it out. See? They literally look the same. Okay, I'll get this figured out real quick. Just getting these tacked, and then I'll pull them off and fully weld them. What are you trying to do? Build a whistle? No, I'm trying to cool it down so that way it doesn't just disintegrate or evaporate the stuff. Mm. What is it called? anti -seize. At this point, it'll just melt it and mm. e evaporate it. So I'm cooling it down so it, it doesn't welded? do that. Yeah, they're all welded up. Check out those welds. Not too shabby. Looking good. All right, so check this out. Hey, it's super tight. So this fits really good here, but I want to bring it down. Lincoln's going crazy on Hillbilly's ear blow. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so don't mind the air blower. Lincoln's a trained professional. Everything's fine. So I want to get this down to about an inch above the winch, an inch above the winch. So in order to do that, I'm probably going to have to grind out just a little bit. This fits really well. So I'm just going to take the grinder and just, we'll get that down, we'll get that welded in, and then we'll move on to mounting this. Now in real time, you guys don't realize it, but this took me like three hours to accomplish because I can't seem to get anything done ever. Whoa! Oh no, your candy! Oh no! The winch is not square to this. If we square this to this bar, it's gonna be out of square to the winch. Rock crawler life. I think I would rather square it up to the winch. All right, now I'll get my gloves and everything on. We'll hurry and weld this in. It's looking fire. That bracket is welded in. We're gonna let it cool there. I left it bolted up so it didn't do anything stupid, but that is the most solid bracket overkill majigger you would ever need. So I'll start working on the steering shaft. So we've got to take this oscillating valve, we've got to take this valve out and make, it's a three quarter inch round end, but I need to make a square connect to it. I've just about got this all squared up to where it'll fit. Okay, that is exactly what I needed and it's tight. So what I'm going to do now, this bolt is what's going to keep it in. Look at that. Look over here. I can see if you can see through it. That's like perfect. Look at that. And you can see right, notched right where it there. needs to be notched. So what are you going to do now? Just take a marker yep. through the back? I'm going to try no. to mark it. And try to mark it and then we'll grind a notch for the bolt. Voila! Okay, let's tighten it and just make sure it clamps. I mean, it ain't, it ain't coming out. That's for dang, dang diddly sure. Oh yeah, that's staying, that's staying on. I just love when things go the right way. Look at that. Like a glove. That ain't go nowhere. Like me putting my hand in your glove. Yeah, seriously. No, I think really. that's a blowout that you did that. Yeah, blowout central. 
like legit that's that's like not even bad like honestly look at i wish you guys could see down in there that's like you seriously be able to tell because look at that outside. no it's clamp it's like... give me your open hand Ow! oh yeah all right i was supposed to weld this so it could be cooling down but instead well, that is fully welded up that's gonna sit and cool down we're gonna run and grab some supper probably won't take you with because i gotta go pick adley up from dance because it's that night and it's my favorite thing to do so we'll be right back the time has come i'm back from dinner <coughs> i'm back from supper so we're gonna put this back in we've got our u-joint expertly built this is an oscillating valve and it doesn't quite fit so gotta make it fit sometimes you just gotta that's your home you gotta go to your home i'm gonna put one bolt in it's gonna take 10 of us to get this on because it's heavy if anybody has ever filmed and <laughs> twisted an oscillating valve you know how I difficult reach this so is. bad with my other yeah, hand i think i got the first bolt started so i gotta go get washers and lock washers and all that fun stuff and then we'll get it tightened up we're making big moves making moves here let's take a damn quarter turn at a time yeah well, I, I have to because move. we got a motor mount in place. It's right in the way. Um, this is probably something that we want to like constantly check also. Like, this is... Make sure the motor don't move. <laughs> no, we just want to make sure these bolts stay tight. You didn't lock tight them? No, I put lock washer. A, wa a washer and a lock washer. Yeah! Lock okay, tight works better. So I got the... My square tubing that we're going to use for to complete the steering shaft. Right where I have it, it's going to be perfect. I'm going to take the shoe joint off because I got it marked. How far up that I got to just barely flatten it out because it's just a hair too big. Go inside there. Flush almost inside there. Weld it or bolt it. And then weld this piece to that side. Oh, we got to turn the fan on, but I've got this all programmed up. I got it all programmed. It's all programmed up. Hillbilly's Billy's going to flip that switch on and we're going to burn this out. All right, a cute little bracket might not be quite what we need. I think we need to do a wider radius. I did a six inch, I did a six inch radius. We might need a radius that's just a hair more. Yeah, that'll work. This is gonna work, I just need to figure out, gotta take the band into consideration. That'll work to where it's not gonna interfere with the tank. You can see it clears. So I will go figure out this now. Okay, I got the square tubing, ground down to fit. Now I'm just gonna weld this solid to that U-joint. Okay, so I just made it to where the string was straight. This, uh, these are all straight. Ram centered, so the wheels will be straight. So I want to make sure, make sure the string goes straight. So I'll even throw a tack on that, and then I'll pull it out and finish fully welding that up, which is the adapter that goes from the square tubing to my steering column. Got a tack. So now I'm going to remove the steering shaft out, just like so. It's not very straightish. Kind of straighten it out a little bit and then tappy tappy these down and then go to town welding. All right, so we got the bracket. It's gonna weld in nice. It's not perfect, but it'll fill in with weld. So that's what we were after. It's gonna bolt for this just mighty fine. Okay, I'll get this welded in real quick. It's attached. Steering shaft, half check, because we need to still put it on and bolt, uh, put it on, bolt it, bolt it all up. Once we do that, then it could be a full check. So now to hopefully do the final install of this shaft. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. You smashed it. So when I have to press it open a little bit. You gotta press it open when you smashed it to get it down on that other one. Smash it a wee bit too much. So now I just gotta spread that open just a little bit and then it should fit that. perfect. Hold ya. I think my string will locked. I just need the welder. I'm just gonna put a little tacky tack on this. 
And then what I want to do is I want to build my next bracket that's going to go here. And I'll get that on. But I want to just make sure that I've got everything where it needs to be. I mainly want to make sure that I'm going to clear everything. It will be good for now. So I went ahead, put my little tacky. So what I'm doing is I've got to make a bracket that goes right here. So it's going to go in between. And we'll clock this correctly. And it'll weld here and I'll put two bolts in. No, oh, that was scary. Scared my br scared the britches right out of me. That's for the little guy. Yep, little guy. That one's done. All right, something like that. I like it. Picasso. I like it. So that is where that's going to go. So let's hurry and I'm going to hurry and weld this. We're going to discombobulate this now and get it out of the way. We'll get this wiring moved so we don't mess anything up. Just about got this steering kit to the point where we can do the final hoses. Fill it up and get it to steer. Now if we can just get those wires to not melt, that'd be super cool. All right, that one's welded. Blow it on, blow on it until it cools down. Just, I'll just brush it. I really don't think that I need to weld the underside. It's a little bit overkill. Considering you got the bottom bracket welded inside yeah. and out. I know. I feel like it's a necessary evil. It's not a derby car. Yeah, it's not a derby car. It'll be fine. So we'll let that cool down. You've got the shaft in, right? Yeah. So yeah, now all we gotta do, hook it all up, put steering, power steering fluid in it. I won't give you a high five because you punched me. No, you, you uh, smacked my fist. No. Thanks. See, Colton knows. Colton understands the assignment. See, he doesn't punch me. I didn't punch you. You, you smacked punched, my hand. You, you, you smacked my fist. Literally punched the palm of my hand. You smacked my fist. All right, now that it's all cooled down, we will get this bolted into place. I'm actually really excited for this because I've never put a PSC, I've never put any full hydro system in anything. So I'm kind of excited to see how it does. You know what would be kind of fun? Once we get this done, take it snow wheeling. Uh, yeah. Tree trail. No. Yeah, no, we're smarter than we're that. Name, our name's not Owen. <laughs> okay, we'll get this tightened up. And we just got to run the hoses. We are down to the end. So I'm going to hurry. I always say I'm going to hurry, but I never hurry. I am going to put together some hoses. This is the main feeder to the reservoir, to the pump. Where's the return? It's one of the two. But... We'll get this clamped up, we'll get it on, we'll get it tight, and then it's going to be the bestest steering this poor little Bronco's ever had in its whole entire life. I'm going to put a little bit of Blue Monster on the threads. This goes into the cooler, and I've got to build the line so this side goes into the filler, and then the other side goes, and it's going to loop up, Follow the top, and it's going to go to the pump. No, to the oscillator valve. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. So this one has to come all the way back. So this, these are just press-on fittings that I cannot press on because I don't have super monkey strength. So I got it started. We'll have Hillbilly finish it. Hillbilly, I got it halfway. Actually, let's see. Let's see if I got the strength tonight. Ah, nope. Nope. Push it. Watch this. It's a magic trick. It won't go. Push it. Okay. Got it on. You always got to make sure your stuff is clocked right. All right. That is much, muchos betteros. That's like perfection at its finest. Mm. One more hose to build. And we'll have the steering done. And we will have met our goal. Now you might be wondering what happened to Whiskers right behind us. So we decided, we made an executive decision to not spray epoxy primer or bed liner material in this shop because there's too much stuff. We don't want to spatter everything. So that's getting put off. We decided just to focus on the steering. At a later date, we'll finish Whiskers Roof. But that date is not tonight. Okay, so this is the last line. Oh, hey, we could double cool it, use it, uh, the transmission cooler for part of the hydraulic. You have your over, overfill tank for your radiator? Yeah. Yeah. We got to relocate it somewhere we else. We'll relocate it, but that's not tonight's task. You know, this thing hasn't been started for quite a few months. Have you not started it? 
What if it won't even start to turn the steering on? <laughs> hey, it's a port. It's going to start, bud. I don't know about that. I do. Really? He doesn't even know if it's going to start. All right, so there. Let's just recap this real quick. Look how good that looked. Bada bing, bada bang, breather, bada boom. Got to touch it all. Oscillating valve, line, steering column. We accomplished something. Are we ready? We finally did. All right, so the Ooh. instructions on the website were way too complicated. So we're just gonna do it the way we know. So he's, what he's really saying is we didn't quite understand it. Yeah, they didn't have pictures. So we'll put an old accordy poo in here and we'll figure it out. It's guzzling it up. Okay, go just kind of turn the steering wheel. Let's see if it does anything. I doubt it will because it needs pressure. Okay, turn it back. I doubt that did anything in here. Well, let me check. Just kidding, that did something. So I'll go ahead and get this full and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Let's go ahead and start it, if it will. <laughs> Go lock the lock about five or six times. Pretty happy with this. It was a success. Well, your phone always goes off at the right time, at the wrong time. Yeah, my phone always never goes off at the right time. So we are finally successful. We got all the steering done in the Bronx Star. It's all hooked up. There's no leaks. It steers both directions. It has a Barnes four wheel drive, high steer kit has a Barnes four wheel drive, full hydro adapter bracket, full hydro bracket from Barnes four wheel drive. It has a PSC full hydro system. This thing has more money in the steering than it's worth. That's not true. This whole thing's worth about a 30 grand now. Stupid amount of money. More than what it was worth brand new ever. in 88. Ever. Rolling off the showroom floor. This has more money in it than anybody should ever put in it. Not but true. hopefully we'll have fun with it. There's a few little things that's gotta be done before we can take this to King of Hammers. But overall, we're sitting pretty good. All right, so we did what we could do. We got the Bronx Star steering and that was our goal. So it was a successful couple of days. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.